All right. Let me put my beer in my cup holder. All right, so we are going to, today we are going to try and install this tail light now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove all this again. And we'll hook that up. A new light. And then we'll test everything out. Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> Kiss me. Love that smell. Alright, lights are in. My helper's gonna test. Right blinker. Right blinker. On. Left blinker. On. Brakes. On. Perfect. So, I'm gonna close the hatch. Ah, uh, it looks good, huh? Yeah, it does. It's better than before. And I like how it like, com comes out instead of just like flat. Open the uh, hatch, Jay, because the light's this? flat. No, the, push the button to open the hatch. No, back here. You know how to open the back? Just grab the handle. Watch, the lights will flash. Press the button. Nice. All right. I'd say this was a success, huh? What do you think? When I was up, went over my foot. <laughs> um. All right, project complete. Yeah. We Happy. out. Happy Father's Day. Voila. Hey guys, quick update on this uh, project. Um, been riding it, been um, driving this around for about a week now, and I'm hearing some annoying little like squeak, uh, squeak coming from back here. I know it wasn't the, I know it's not the any of the plastic uh, interior panels that I was uh, taking off to, to snoop around. Um, so I got a closer look. I stopped and uh, you know started to inspect it. I got a closer look here, and you could see. 
like right here, uh, the gap, I mean, there basically is no gap. You know, it's really tight up here in the window. Uh, you know, this, this is probably normal gap and it gets a lot thinner as you go up. This side's not as bad. This side has a, a decent gap. Very close over here, but not very close at all. And you can see if I open the door. It's hard to see with the sun, but a little bit of like chafing going on there. And the same here. So what I think I can do is I tried to make sure it was pushed in all the way, which it definitely is. But the five mounting holes, or, or uh, points rather, I'm going to shim them out a little bit and I'm hoping that it'll, if I shim it out, it'll twist it, twist it outward, pulling it away from the door a little bit. So I'm going to try that and see what, see what happens. So here's what I mean, like this mounting point and this mounting point, I'm just going to loosen it. this a couple turns bring it out you know quarter inch not even you see how that all pulls out a little bit so you take this other panel off and I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe we can shim it out a little bit Hold on a second. Let me shut the door. Let's see what the gap looks like. Yeah, see now. I mean, that's better. You know, that's just with the screws loose. I mean, it's still pretty tight, but... So I think I'm gonna find some like rubber, I have some like rubber washers that I'll just stick behind there so I can cinch the screws down just a little bit because this is, this is kind of loose for my liking. You hear that rattle? All right, so sit tight. Rubber. It's like rubber washers, and I'm just going to take a screw here, shim it, this other screw, like that. Actually, it's going to go more like this. Find this with one hand here. Alright, so the screw in. Washer behind. This is where it was problematic. You can see that's pretty good now. Up the window. Eh, it's okay here. I mean, it'll do. I guess that's uh. GM for you. Let's check the other side. The other side's got a similar gap. That gap looks the same there on both sides. <laughs> 